All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been having some talks with you in my first couple of uh, Zoom office hour meetings. And today what I want to talk about are some challenges you and I face in an online writing class. Some challenges and some perks and then some final thoughts. Uh, so what I want you guys to know is it's about 8.30 in the morning. My wife is teaching live video in our shared office to her sixth graders. My daughters are taking uh, live instruction from their fifth grade teacher. I'm in this cramped room, uh, the bedroom with a tripod. I'm trying to make video content for my uh, online writing students. Nearby there are leaf blowers and lawn mowers blowing and uh, this is this is what I call being in a new reality show called Don't Lose Your Mind in the Matrix. And it really speaks to our first challenge in an online, uh, online writing course. We're all kind of trapped in what I call Zoom congestion. Everyone's on Zoom. No one has any personal space. It's not just me. My students tell me they're in the same boat, man. I had a student last night, man. She was at the Zoom meeting while in the car on her phone with her mom. Because that's it. What are you going to do, man? You're in the Zoom congestion zone, and uh, that creates a lot of anxiety because you need personal space as a human being. I, I mean, I think eventually all of us are going to have a collective nervous breakdown, and that's okay. Sometimes a nervous breakdown is a natural response to an insane situation. Welcome to online writing. All right. Uh, number two. A lot of my students are 18 years old. That's a tough age, man. Uh, oh, God. You have, you have no idea how, how uh, challenged I was when I was 18. I had no social skills. I, I had a beard. Dogs ran away from me. My professors were scared of me. Uh, I think I benched about 400 pounds. I think I repped it and squatted 500, had a beard. I was a real unpleasant guy to have in class. But 18 is a tough age because... Um, you're transitioning from childhood to adulthood. You really need personal instruction. Online instruction is very impersonal. It's less like going to college and you guys probably feel like you're taking a, an online traffic school course. That's terrible. Uh, we're trying to do the best we can in this situation. The other thing is a lot of you guys are on Canvas for the first time. Canvas is a digital ecosystem. And you're, you're in this new ecosystem, this new environment, and it's going to make you anxious. And I get anxious a lot, and you get anxious a lot. One thing you and I can agree on about being anxious, it always compromises our intellect. It always makes us less smart. And once we find our anxieties making us less smart, we get more anxious, which makes us even less smart, and a vicious cycle happens. And that is one of the challenges of an online writing class. You're stuck in this, uh, this ecosystem. All I can say, man, if you, ever, if you ever get lost in the matrix of Canvas, email me, man. Email me and I'll just help you out, man. I'm on your side. I take you over the machine every time. Don't, if the machine's not working for you, email me and hopefully that machine will work. But uh, I'll try to help you out. Uh, another challenge, a fourth challenge, is that uh, as a student, you guys need instant feedback. You guys have a question and you need me to answer it. Boom, in class, I can answer it right away. You raise your hand. Psh, online writing, there's going to be a lot of questions that are going to plague you and there's no one to say anything and that's going to drive you crazy and that's a natural response. Uh, the other thing is Physical presence in a classroom situation is very important. When, when you share physical spaces with people, you read their uh, eye contact better, their body language. Studies show that there's a certain type of bonding and trust that occurs when you share a physical space that does not happen in a digital thing. I'm just a hologram, man. I'm an avatar. You don't know who I am, man. I might be a CIA agent doing an experiment on you. God, McMahon, you're paranoid. All right. All right, so no, no physical presence. Finally, there's a lot of deep, rich human communication that gets lost in an online writing course. About 15 years ago, 
I had a student. She was about 30 years old. She was a mom. And she told me after class, after everyone left, that uh, when she was two years old, her mom abandoned her. Her mom abandoned her. And, uh, you know, this left a deep hole inside of her. She never really had a mom. And uh, when she got into her 20s, she became a mom and she loved her daughter. And, and in loving her daughter, she became the mom, not just to her daughter, but to herself that she never had. And I looked at her in the eye and go, oh my God, that's like the deepest thing anyone's ever said to me. And I'm going to cry right now. And uh, you know what? Would that happen in an online writing course? I don't think so. So there's a richness of experience that you don't get in an online writing course. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Now there are some perks. There are some perks to online writing. Number one, you don't have to drive to school. Hey, that works for me. Don't have to find a parking space. Hey, that works for me. Don't have to use public bathrooms, which are disgusting. That works for me. Don't have to use public bathrooms. Don't have to pack snacks. Wow, I hate packing snacks. And if you're not inclined to pack snacks, uh, you don't have to spend a bunch of money on convenience food. You don't have to get punk fed by a vendor machine. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what other perks can we have? Well, now that you're home, taking online writing, <clears throat> you can focus on really comfortable home lounge wear, man. Baggy gym shorts never felt so good. That's huge. Final thoughts, man. I think if you find yourself going crazy in this online Zoom environment, I think you're normal. I think going crazy is a normal response to a crazy situation. If you're not going crazy, I'm worried about you. Call me. No, I don't know. If you're not going crazy, maybe you've just spent a lot of time in digital ecosystems all your life and, and you're comfortable with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, call me. Go to my uh, Zoom meetings and talk to me. Let's try to survive this. We have no choice. We have to sink, swim. We have to adapt uh, or else, man. We got to do it. All right, we're all in this together. Until next time, I'm out.